You know, as I've been thinking about all the things that our country is facing, for me, it just feels like being on pause. It feels like I was listening to a song and somebody just paused it. And everything that I was doing and everything that I had planned and everything that I thought was coming is not because it's on pause. And during this pause, we're taking precautions, right? We're washing our hands. We're um, trying to be very vigilant with hand sanitizer and how we interact with one another. And we're distancing ourselves socially and we're taking all these precautions. But as we're taking precautions, there's a danger that we might become preoccupied. Preoccupied means that our mind is distracted, our mind is caught up, our mind is consumed and totally engaged on a situation that frankly we don't have control over. But even though we're in this time of pause, there's one thing that will never pause and that's purpose. I believe that you and I were created by purpose, on purpose and for purpose. And that will never change. That will never stop. That will never pause. The purpose that God has for your life and my life, it hasn't changed. And so in this season, we have to be careful not to be so consumed with a temporary situation that we're facing right now that we take our eyes off of the fact that God expects us to live on purpose. So... I just wanted to take a few moments and begin to think about what would it look like in this season to pause with purpose. I think one thing that lays before us is the idea of rest. How many of you know that we live a life moving so fast on any typical day that rest seems like a luxury, seems like something we don't have time for, and perhaps during this time of pause, one way that we can live out our purpose and one way that we can be totally healthy so that we can um, just live to our highest potential is to rest. It's to understand that we are not God. And even God himself rested on the seventh day. That for your body to function at its optimal height, you need time to rest. And so perhaps during this time of pause, something that God will have us to do is to create some, some margin for rest. I also began to think about the idea of time because you and I are so quick to talk about what we don't have time for, right? I don't have time for this. I don't have time for that. I'm really busy. You know, I got to do this. I got to do that. But do you realize that you don't really know what you have time for because you don't know how much time you have left, right? Like if you knew for a fact that you had 12 hours or 12 days or 12 years left on this earth, with that information, then you would understand what you really have time for. But but seeing as that we don't know that, we don't know what we have time for. So what I really believe is that coronavirus or not, we have time for what we make time for. You will have time for what you make time for. And so I feel like we're in a season that we need to become very intentional with how are we going to spend this this time that we have because some of us are going to have some extra time in our home, right? We're going to have some extra time with maybe our family members or what have you. And I realized that if we're not intentional with what we do with this extra time, we're going to do with it the same things that we have done in the past and it's going to slip through our fingers. And so one way that we can pause with purpose in this season is to be very intentional with how we spend our time. I've come to realize that you know, before all these kind of things took place, I can easily waste time on social media. And now that I have extra time in my house, if I'm not careful now, I can waste more time on social media if I don't um, just take the opportunity to be more intentional. You know, another way that we can pause with purpose in this season is to create more than we consume. We can create more than we consume. You know, we have a consumer mentality. We consume media. We consume entertainment. We consume we consume air. We consume we consume stuff, right? But what can you make? What can you create? What can you fashion that will actually help other people, move them forward, bring other people together 
What can you create that you know is in alignment with your divine assignment during this season of pause? I also began to think about the idea of rest, which I mentioned, but think about rest versus escape. Because sometimes we think we're resting, but our mind isn't really being recharged. It's not really being renewed. We don't end up feeling any more together or better. We're actually just escaping, right? So when, for example, if we consume so much social media, we're just um, drinking it in. Sometimes it's more of an escape, right? We're just kind of checking out of life for a few minutes. But when we're done with it, we don't feel any better. It was just an escape. And now it's just back to business as usual. And we're not any more well equipped to handle what's before us. So here's the thing. We're in a season that's unprecedented, that's unpredictable, that's calling on the carpet everything that we've talked about for so many years. It's calling on the carpet, Lord, do I really trust you more than I trust my ability to control? Do I really trust that you have my best interest at heart? Do I really trust that I can trust you or not? All of that stuff is being called on the carpet. Matthew chapter 6 is being called on the carpet. Do I really believe that I don't have to take thought for what I'm going to eat? what I'm going to wear, that I can look at the birds, I can look at the flowers outside and realize that my father cares for them and so he's going to care for me too. So now the rubber is meeting the road for all of us to really understand, do we believe that or not? Do we believe it here and here? So I want to invite you into a season of seeing opportunities. Begin to see the opportunities, you know, where our mind is almost trying to see the challenges. We see the challenges of being inconvenienced. We see the challenges of so many variables that we don't know what's going to happen. But how about we shift our focus to begin to see the opportunities. Begin to see the opportunities for these pockets of time that we might not have had before. Now we have some opportunities to do some different things. Perhaps now we have an opportunity to write that book that we've been too busy to start on and too busy to um, gain some momentum and actually follow through and finish. Maybe now was the opportunity to start that business or to start that ministry. Perhaps now was the opportunity to cultivate some relationships in our household in a deeper way that we've not had the opportunity to before. So I believe that we're in a special place right now and I want to see me and I want to see you maximize it and juice it for all it's worth. We're in a season of pause. But in your pause, don't forget to live on purpose. And more importantly, don't forget to see every challenge, every difficulty, every hiccup that might be coming your way right now as a divine opportunity to shift you into the place that you were always meant to be. God bless you.